Linear regression is a typical regression algorithm for numeric prediction. It is distinct to classification models such as decision tree, support vector machine, or neural network. Linear regression finds the optimal linear relationship between independent variables and dependent variables, then makes prediction accordingly. To put linear regression into practice, it usually involves steps from exploratory data analysis, to feature engineering to model building, and then model evaluation. Exploratory data analysis is also known as EDA. It is essential to both investigate the data quality and reveal hidden correlations among variables. The first technique is univariate analysis. It is a simple process of visualizing the data distribution using histogram for numeric variables and bar chart for categorical variables. It helps to identify if dataset contains outliers and identify if data transformation or feature engineering is required. Second is multivariate analysis which involves two or more variables. When thinking of linear regression, the first technique we can think of is scatterplot. Now, how about adding the categorical variable as the legend? The third type is correlation analysis that examines the linear correlation between variable pairs. It helps to identify collinearity between independent variables and also independent variables that are strongly correlated with the target, they are the strong predictors. EDA brought some insights of what types of feature engineering techniques are suitable for the dataset. Some useful techniques are log transformation, one-hot encoding, label encoding. Log transformation. Since linear regression assumes linear relationship between input and output variable, it is useful when data is right skewed and follows a power law distribution. Log transformation converts data into normally distributed shape which is more suitable for linear regression. Another requirement of machine learning algorithms is to encode categorical variables into numbers. Two common methods are one-hot encoding and label encoding. Here I compare the implementation of these two and the outcome. If use label encoding function, each categorical value will have a corresponding numeric value assigned to it. On the other hand, if use one hot encoding through the function get dummies, one categorical value will be expanded as a separate column and indicated using dummy variables. After all of the data preparation, let's talk about the linear regression model in its implementation. A simple linear regression predicts relationship between one independent variable x and one dependent variable y. As more features are introduced, it evolves into multiple linear regression represented by x1, x2, x3 and so on, combined with different weights. And it can't be easily plotted using a line in a two-dimensional space. Python scikit-learn has provided a built-in function to implement the linear regression. There are several attributes returned from the this function. The coefficient values b1, b2, b3 and so on. Model intercept which is the constant value b0. Scikit-learn linear regression uses ordinary least squares to find and evaluate the optimal line to fit the data. So that the line, minimizes the residual sum of squares between the observed targets and the predictions. So if we go back to this example, we can intuitively tell that the first line is a much better fit than the second one. And this brings us to the next step, model evaluation using metrics, MAE, MSE, RMSE and R squared. MAE or mean absolute error, refers to the mean of the absolute value of the errors. MSE or mean squared error is the mean of the squared errors. RMSE or root mean squared error is the square root of the MSE. All three methods measures the errors by calculating the difference between predicted values and actual value y, so the smaller the better. The main difference is that MSE and RMSE penalized large errors and are differentiable. MAE is not differentiable which makes it hard to apply in gradient descent. Compared to MSE, RMSE takes the square root thus maintains the original data scale. Another metric is R squared or coefficient of determination is a value between 0 and 1, indicating the amount of variance in actual target variables explained by the model.
R squared is 1 minus the ratio between sum of squares of residuals, RSS, and total sum of squares, TSS. Total sum of squares summarizes the difference between the Y values and the average Y value. While RSS indicates the difference between the model prediction and the actual Y value. A better performed model will have smaller error in RSS, therefore, higher R squared value. Take a straightforward example, if the linear regression model looks like this, the RSS would be significantly larger than the RSS of a model like this, and leads to a smaller R square value. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you are interested in contents like this.